in order for me to actually make a solid push to become a partner in some you know very major organization I have to put forth my best effort and this is what I'm gonna do okay not having it in the game caviar studios doing a video for Yash recruits this is me playing uh, black ops on firing range double XP weekend this weekend uh, instead of having Nuketown 24-7 they have firing range 24-7 and this is a team deathmatch and I went absolutely crazy in this match um i believe that i single-handedly drove my team to victory and you could see how this played out and um i haven't played black ops on ps3 in a long time and i noticed that my uh kill streaks were spy plane and the mortar team and i what i didn't know during this match is that my third kill streak was a chopper gunner so you'll see me here i don't know what that guy was doing but i knifed him in the nostril but you see me later on I, i'm like you know really indecisive on what i want to do do i want to like hold down a position and try to get that last kill streak or do i want to rush out and you know go all in but you'll see um you see me lay down the claymore right there normally the, the strategy for firing range, and a lot of people have said this, is that you hold down that, that wooden building, that top wood is what they call it. But um, I never, I, that strategy never worked out for me. So I just run around and I do whatever. I'm a really fast paced player. If you see any of my other videos, you can note, you'll, you'll notice that. I, uh, I like to run around, I don't really like to, uh, I wouldn't call it camping, but you know, if you stay in one spot, not in a corner, in a dark corner, just wait for people. But if you if you patrol an area or hold down a certain part of the map, I don't consider that camping. That's really playing strategic, but I'm not that patient in Call of Duty games to do that. I want to run around, I want to get kills, I want to get in the enemy's faces and 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 win gun battles. And um Look at this right here. I've I always have a tough time with ladders in this game, and this was so frustrating to me. Like you have no idea how nerve wracking it is to try to climb up a ladder, and at any minute the enemy could come around the corner and get you. And I, I just I never had luck with ladders. It sounds weird, and I feel like you know some sort of weird failure type. But you know. Whatever, I finally climbed up the ladder. And this is the part that I was talking about. I was in here and I was like, what's going on? What am I what is my third kill streak? I don't know what it is. And I don't want to get buzz killed. And I, I was really waiting for somebody to have a spy plan so I could see when an enemy is, kind of feel them out, and then, you know, strategize from there. But um You know, I keep checking the two doors, and after a while I was like, screw it. I just ran out, and then my luck, I get killed. So, you know, if I had just waited and checked the other door, I would have been okay. Uh, as it turned out, my, my third kill streak was uh, Chopper Gunner. And I figured that out on a couple in a couple matches later. And I like this right here. I managed to get a double double kill right here. Uh, get me another spy plane. I like running spy plane on, as my first kill streak because I... Uh, I like to see where the enemy is at all times. I like to know exactly where they are. It helps my strategy out a lot. And uh, when I was um, getting into Call of Duty online, I, I I started using the spy plane, and I I really started understanding the mini map and the spy plane and how to um, and interrogate that that information that the spy plane gives you, so I can uh, flank the enemies and really. Um, you know take take them down basically but um i like the spy plane i i any any call of duty i keep the spy plane as my first kill streak because that right there is like that's part of my whole strategy i'm not a really big high kill streak guy the fact that i have chopper gun as my third kill streak is not it's really not um it's, it's not really a characteristic of my gameplay. I'm surprised that I'm actually rolling with that. And uh, I, I normally stick with the 3, 5, and 7 kill streaks. You know, uh, Spy Plane. And for this one, it'd be Spy Plane, uh, Napalm Strike, and an Attack Helicopter. And then uh, Modern Warfare, you know, it's uh, uh, UAV, 
uh, predator missile and attack helicopter and that's just how i roll i i feel really comfortable with that and i i don't need to show off me getting the high kill streaks a lot of people they do that and i think that they send out the mind state that you know you're not a good player if you're not able to get these high kill streaks or you know you you just you need to get these high kill streaks because they're they look better in the in the youtube video and and they don't you know because like i said i run a three five and seven and my uh my videos are you know fairly popular you know nobody's ever criticized me for not running high kill streaks uh in the end what matters most is how many kills you get and yes those high kill streaks will allow you to get more kills but at the same time you can get just as many kills or more kills if you rely more on your guns and like a uav and you know the lower kill streaks than you would just you know waiting for the higher kill streaks um some people are able to run around and get high kill streaks like that and i've watched videos with some people just patrol the area or even borderline camp to get high kill streaks it's easier in modern warfare because the kill streaks are stackable whereas you really have to work for them in this game which is better for me I mean, to me because you have to it, it makes you rely more on your gun as i try to steal that care package and this helicopter got it this helicopter killed me a few times and it really was irritating because when i get an attack helicopter it just circles it, it patrols the area it really it, it doesn't really get a kill it's more of an intimidation thing to scare people to go inside but um it, it never really gets that many kills but this helicopter was like working overtime you know now, i don't understand what happened right there uh I guess that guy, he ran up on me and it shocked me so bad that I, I kind of froze up, which sucked because I ended up getting killed. But uh, this is still a good match, you know. It's coming up on the end, and at the end, you can see this really good finish on my behalf, although I didn't get the last kill, which is, uh, it was surprising to me at the time, but uh, I'm glad we managed to come back and uh, and, and really win this match because we were down by some, some kills. We were down by a favorable amount. But uh, we all banded together and came back at the right time, you know. Um, sometimes you play with uh, randoms and it's a complete disaster. And, and sometimes, as I take out the death machine right there, and sometimes it, you really come together at the right time. And this was one of those matches where we came together at the right time, as you can see. And I really like that. And uh, a lot of times playing with random people is frustrating and it's irritating, but sometimes it's really rewarding and you actually have a good time. And trying to be a team player with a bunch of randoms is like a you know all or nothing type thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, because not they don't they don't really work together all the time. You know, everybody's sometimes they're all out for each other. But anyway, here's the final kill. I run up knife this guy, get the victory. I thought I had the final kill, but I didn't. And that's it. So hopefully Yaush will um will uh uh accept this video and I'll be uh on Yaush recruits. Anyway, I'm not having it and I'm out.